hi guys welcome to a new video if you're a new subscriber karibu karibu sana if you're a returning person kama kawaida thank you for rocking with me please relax this is going to be a fun video i hope you enjoy it as much as i enjoyed shooting it this week started with me going to the optician because guys my eyes have been failing me and ace broke my glasses so it was about time i got that replacement done so what you're seeing here is me going to bows to get that replacement and i'm basically just choosing frames which is always a hard task but you know what i ended up getting something i like so this is what i chose I look serious. I look like a mother. I look like someone who can do a report. But guys, today I have had headaches. I actually had to do some glasses from my office in Bakaapa because the light was too much. I was having a serious headache. But now, the fact that we're inside and I know I'm about to get some glasses makes it all better. So yeah, we're at both. I've gotten the previous ones from here and Ace broke them, like I told you guys. Then you live to Ace when you find your outfit. But at least we got a replacement. Even Davy needed some, so he also got his. And yeah, we're good to go. We are sorted. I will keep this away from that baby because Bob Baby is not about to spoil my sunglasses again. Yeah, I can't wait to have them, baby, because you have been struggling. Driving has been a problem. Uh, just just a lot hi guys welcome to another episode of shards and tell i am up and early because i have come to fix this mess i am a sickness i will insert my car got rid of the day here because i feel like i look so cute uh blazer is from micho shopper this was such a good find it's so colorful so i had to match my lipstick with my outfit and yeah i think sydney is getting ready for me guys i know it's another week same here forgive me i still have to use my sunglasses in the morning because my spectacles are not yet ready and the light is really giving me a headache so this has been my life before i get into the office i stay with these things for as long as i can anyway yeah we are at sydney's have i ever shown you guys how sydney's place looks like let me show you before he comes so he normally sells some skin products looking at sydney unavanga crocs the white then he has a few stations he also goes to dubai a lot so he gets perfume and you can also see he has sunglasses there and yeah that is the um pedicure session and the makeup session oh you can actually see my outfit from here yeah and that is a cute client waiting for her nails to be done i want to sit down and decide how i'm about to do these nails because i have no idea what i want i feel like cutting them it's like i'm getting to that age where um long nails are not my vibe anymore i don't know they're my vibe like once they're done i'm like yes i'm so happy i didn't cut out these nails but again after they grow like after a month i'm like no why did you not cut out these nails they could have gone for another two months so i'm not sure i know i know sydney will convince me to just file these nails and just stick to long nails but let's see anyway let me show you guys my outfit so real quick, outfit of the day is Sunny's are Miniso, earrings are beauty galore, chain is my usual Swarovski, watch that never leaves my hand is Encata, and my purple blazer, is it purple or lilac? I'm not sure. Yeah, purple, be purple and white detail blazer is from Micho Shopper, top is old, I think a thrift from Toy, pants are nature shopper as well shoes were from backyard just flats but right now you've seen i'm in crocs because we respect sydney's place and yeah i think i look really cute for a new appointment <laughs> so yeah let me wait for seed and get this mess sorted okay 
most of you normally ask me where sydney is based he's usually at hallingham Cosse heights just dm him or give him a call he also does not do walk-ins you must always make an appointment yep <laughs> That's your sign of change your nail tech. <laughs> Guys, every time I go to Sid, he must introduce me to one reality show. So this time I was watching The Circle. I have never watched it. Yeah. So we watched this through the whole session and we were almost done with the filing. The filing is usually my longest period in this making nails uh, so once you're done with the filing one thing i love about sydney is he must do a manicure he must scrub that hand like remove all the dead skin any bad thing that is in an arm that will come between your nails looking good he will remove everything everything and this time around we went for a very simple french and the part where the french is was a dark brown which i really love it's very simple very nice yeah 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 can you see how glued we are to the screen like this series is so interesting safe to say i finished the first season in two days yes i was like he siatri then after my massage my hands were done and it was time to go just look at that perfection perfection hi guys let me tell you i was contemplating because i am in this sweater and it was in the same vlog but you know what it's it's my sweater i bought it i have to make use of it and yes this is real life si rudia mangu okay rudia ngo what we doing is ako anyway i want to go to the salon because apana now i look homeless and tomorrow we have a cultural day for us he is finally closing school this is the first time yeah and i can't go looking like this guys September oh yeah in his second term yes 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 second term so i can't go looking homeless it's it's so bad guys it's so bad i think i'll just do a treatment and a straightening i want to plate this hair maybe after a week or two because the way the mats are in my head i need to plate it in two weeks for it to serve me the way i want it to serve me so uh let's go to the salon and yo sort this mess because I, it's so bad this is the longest i have stayed with braids in my hair my sisters and my husband are like I, to a yon, 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 sasa una bisha. so nimesikia wito naenda kutoa hii nywele na i need to look like myself yeah so see you at the salon Guys, I want to cry. <laughs> so yeah. Hi guys, I am going to AC's cultural day. The teachers told us too late that even parents are supposed to have cultural clothes. Eh? 
So me I picked the one kitenge laser I have. I'll show you how I look here. Not my best to be honest. But we make deal with what we have. And because it's purple, I've decided to do a combo that is almost purple. That I have been really enjoying of late. simple as that uh this is huda who does queen i'm not sure but it looks like this and this is limuru i'm always using a darker lip to line my lips now i will come back and tell you the nonsense that salon did to me if you know my hair this is now not how my hair normally looks like after the salon but you know what i'll tell you guys later i told my ig people and those people have been laughing at me since usiku so let me go to that cultural day then when i come back i will have time to sit down and give you that story for now let me rush to school the scent of the day is mancera instant crush let me tell you and box this thing juicy juicy Cinder, look this is how good this thing is so good. Hang on, let me rush, let me rush. That is a judgment. In front of you, it's love class. That is a present. to have lunch. We already had lunch, we haven't, so we thought he's been a very good boy in school. Why not come treat him for some ice cream? And I am currently having my favorite cocktail when I come to a cafe. Where is everybody? So good. I've already plugged you. So good. This is having the worst cocktail. Do not be fooled. Do not be But ni lima mbet chukua yangu akadi benga so. So the same way I'm supposed to apply exam because it takes seriously. You know what will happen, eh? So the little guy is here watching cartoon. The bay is right across me. Um. Yeah, we're waiting for our food. We have lunch, then go home and just chill. We don't want the Easter egg to be zoomy. So let's enjoy. Cheers, Nde. So we're going to go to the store. We're going to go to the store. Yeah. So we're here to have celebratory lunch hmm? yeah let's have lunch alafu. we go home now see how the weekend is about to treat us So every time I go to Art Cafe, I always order the same thing. My favorite cocktail here is usually the Passion Keproska. Michelle was having her watermelon cocktail with yo. And for food, I always order the sweet and spicy chicken. That is what I was having and my hubby was also having that as well. We really like it. Michelle chose to do the chicken curry. We've never tried it, but it was really nice. So I'll be trying this next time. Really good. Uh, when we got home, my carpet was back. Yay! Fresh, clean, smelling really good from Gis Cleaners. She picks it and brings it back after 24 hours. My people, I am back. I have had the most wholesome day. Let me just give you a brief. There's nothing as nice to a parent as going to school 
and you didn't know your kid was like doing something small in school even if it's presenting or whatever no today i even had some sprinkles on top like ace was introducing his class and that was like oh that's so nice because you know you know we all like ace here so i thought i'd give you that heads up our baby introduced the class ah i was like that's my baby that is my boy <laughs> And then they ambushed his dad to like say hi and say something about the school. So both my boys were winning today. Eh? I was like a proud mama and a proud wife. Anyway, I'm here. I'm not even sure. I'm not even angry. Like today has been such a good day. So it has kind of melted down my anger from yesterday because yesterday I was burning with fury. I think guys on IG are the ones who had a good laugh because it was straight from being character developed eh, into the internet into the socials and i vented guys i vented and anyway i'm about to vent okay so this is what happened see i told you guys my hair is looking bad i need to go and for context i know if you've not followed me you'd wonder like why oh, are you complaining like see your hair still looks good first of all it's the camera first of all number two if you followed me for a while you know this is not how i look when i'm just straight from the salon my hair is always popping it's always full it's just amazing i'll leave something here just for context for you to understand why i am angry so I went to the salon and I will say what I said on IG. Salons need to have a banner. That one for we serve wine here. That way you decide if you're about to spend your millions or you want to go look for a better salon. So then did my hair and the undoing could took like about 15 minutes. I was like, oh, okay, so, uh the salon is pretty nice looking. So I didn't even expect them to do me like that. Okay. So when I went... Uh, they, they undid my hair and just after they have finished undoing my hair is when my glass of wine arrived and that is where i knew i ding up yeah anyway my wine was there i was like shit this is it so she was like uh what are you doing to your hair nicole like i i just want a treatment and maybe straightening nicole lisa do you have a steam pod i can remember no no I didn't ask if they have a steam pod, sorry. Nkambe, I just want to straighten my hair. Uh, they were like, okay, sour. So, and maybe flat iron. Okay, like, okay, sour. So I went to the sink and red flag number one is when that lady was like washing my hair. She was telling me things like, oh, unajuki wa shanyele, na mtuajuki wa shanyele, na ukona kala, nyoli uwe inashikana, inafanya nini. First of all, if you're a salonist and you know your job, you don't have to tell us how much you know your job we will know you know your job by how you handle our hair okay so i was like hmm. <laughs> i can remember si umewa yenda kwa salon bae nye metangolinyo lako i was like no si jie yenda kwa salon metangolinyo lako so i like <laughs> but uja experience uja experience so tukatoka kwa sink then we went to do the treatment she's like mkutengeneze ka cocktail cocktail. Uh, so I asked for a few uh, treatments I am I am used to putting. I knew for sure I didn't want to go the Mizani way or the L'Oreal way because I wasn't about to spend so much money on hair that I plan to stay with for about a week. Because anyway, Mizani, L'Oreal, those ones I have left to Christine and Patrick. So I was like, just give me this treatment for... It was cheaper. So I went for the cheaper treatment and i told her do you have some coconut oil just put coconut oil in the treatment and then unipake so that part she did because at least i was guiding her so i went into the dryer anyway wash my hair then i'm back to styling so she starts first of all i saw her plugging the flat iron even before we blow dried my hair like a plug flat iron and at that point my head was like what the hell is she going to like put flat iron on my wet hair then she took the blow dry and I was like, oh, fuchs. But again, I was like, see, flat iron takui mukwa moto sana by the time my hair is finishing. And come show. So what we do, you don't have to, no, she started straightening my hair. And then I looked at it, I looked at it and I was like, ah, nisa, ni kam show by the you don't have to flat iron my hair. Um, It's okay, just the straightening is okay because I was like, you see that coming for, that is the moment she knew she uh up oh i knew 
that moment i knew this 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 is it so she's like hey madam unajua venye nilikuwa nimepanga ku style nyole yako for content and kama she was talking style nyole for content alafu ikatike for content eh akaniambia aki please wacha tu ni flat yo niambia mbio ndio nichukue content guys i don't know if it's the wine or what got into me but the way i disrespected myself in that moment i was like please when the faster faster then i asked them uh, if they had some products for heat for heat and they were like they don't have so here her telling the reception uh, unajua hamwekangi hizi products and some clients kama huyu and a t-shirt like they were whispering but you know she has, has a year um then the guy comes to me the, the receptionist is a guy he comes to me and tells me oh uh ato me umepata zimeisha so the next time una come utapata to me restock kwa kichangu ko like next time so she starts to to flatter on me here let me tell you the moment she touched this hair like this it was going like akaanza kunitengeneza masters kwa nywele eh nikashanga what the hell after i was done with my flat ironing guys i was looking like someone who has been electrocuted like nilikuwa nimejaza nyole yangu ilikuwa inakanika imesimama this girl doesn't even know how to flat iron and then she tells me at eh unajua venye si uenda training kule urban unajua urban i'm like yeah mi uenda urban eh nani kutengeneza urban come show patrick eh unajua venye utengeneza nyole vizuri enye kama umeenda urban pia hapa utapenda <laughs> So for long like yeah, just leave my hair alone because already I look like a clown right now. I love for the heat was too much. My hair was smelling like smoke. You know those salons you go to no na tokapo nyole mpaka ni kama inakuchuka. Then she asked me what mafuta I use. I asked her uh about the polisher I use they didn't have. So she told me but niko na kitu na ka polisher guys before I could even say stop. Alikuwa sheka kwa mkono so basically my hair is so full of oil and it's it's not tuliacha kujaza nywele kwa mafuta like i don't know if you get me i know it's colored hair and i know how to take care of my hair but don't do that then she tells me unajua mtu ajui kuchunga kala ya nywele nywele ya kala venye anaweza kukatia nywele mimi nitakutengeneza sijui nini all to see guys i left there my hair looking so thin the heat damage is not something i would wish on my enemy then the worst part eh the worst part is the worst part is uh, now when she was done i'm like i want to cry i want to leave and she is really giving me compliments about my hair and i'm like <laughs> Yeah, I ananiambia I'm sure hata wao watu aban wakiona hiyo lako. Kwanza hiyo lako naenda kuipiga picha na niseme ni mimi nimekala hiyo nywele. Guys, you know how my colored hair looks like just look yani it's like they just pulled my yani my hair is just ruined. I feel like they even killed the color out of my hair, eh? Then the receptionist comes and tells me, "Eh, si umeka fiti." Ata wizi sema you the same girl mwenye alingia hapa vinye ilikuwa hiyo nyule ilikuwa inaka si nyule inaka poa i don't know about you but in nyule inaka fit sana guys you see those people in toy who force you to buy dresses unajua i dress inakukalia mbaya but because i atakayo stock hii toke anakwambia madam si umengara ah and jamaa bisi zake si unaka poa kid you not there are three girls to change this hair then the guy goes and says ah alafu si uko na hairline fit i'm like eh hapo kwa hairline umechocha because hairline yangu ina struggle because if you followed me here you know how much i struggle with this hairline can you imagine someone telling me i have hairline my hairline is goals what kind of insult is that huh anyway lesson learned Shaz needs to plan early because the reason I went to that salon is because I didn't plan early otherwise I could have found myself at Patrick's number 2 do not cheat do not cheat on your hair stylist because they will be having the last laughter i know you know one of my stylists actually saw my stories and they were laughing at me cuz the picture i posted i remember it's Brian who did that hair the one i posted not Patrick and Brian is like 
it's me who did that hair. So, what you to be on by? You can't go salons away. Let me tell you guys, Kimini Ramba, Kimini Ramba, and when I came home. My nanny normally, when I leave the salon, even compliment sana. She saw me at the gate and she was like, oh, umemo kutua braids? Like, no compliment. Eh, umetoka salon? <laughs> then I come to my husband. He's like, what happened to your hair? It looks different today. I'm like, Aki, don't, don't even go there. Niko like, can first smell it? He's like, he smells it and he's like, yo, eh, what's up, babe? Please don't go back there. But do you know, as a woman, you come home from the salon waiting for compliments to flow like this, only for your household to start laughing at you. Then my sister saw me and they're like, Nikabaya, Nikabaya, kame chomo, kame chomo, kame tukumbusha, tukua primary school, unajove ni tukienda high school, ulukuna chomo yo nyole ndio at least ika is straight for. And you know that's not even healthy, guys. I mean, there's nothing as bad as investing so much in a salon and having bad hairdressers like that will kill your business real quick anyway that is the blunder i made and while i was it i will also blame this book because i was reading this book and i think i wasn't even concentrating and let me tell you this book i think i started it day before yesterday and i'm already halfway i am in chapter eight i want to go sit read it there's someone who had told me to give my review there's someone who commented when I start this book, I have started, and all I can say is, e book image at two we, we, we in Nairobi, what wana kapitia? What wana kapitia? So if you have a peaceful life, thank your gods because I am in chapter eight, and this book is so triggering, it leaves you angry after every page, after every chapter, it gives it leaves you angry. Or asking yourself so many questions like, what the hell did I just read? This book is so triggering. Guys are really going through it. And this is Confessions of Nairobi Men. Let me just say sorry to all the men who are in this book because you guys have really gone through it. And it's not something you want to hear your friend going through. This is really, it's a sad book. It's, uh, and it's a, uh, you can't stop reading like once you open a chapter you want to continue with like two or three so for sure i know chances are i will finish this book today because this book is so good it it's so good but so are you getting me if kwanza if you're struggling with reading get this book it's such an easy read and a page turner for sure like you just want to okay what happened? It's like udaku, unapati udaku, but you udaku wakuna msia nasikia because wendo unajisomea. So unasoma tu hivi. Noma. Ni noma. Like I was reading and sending my sister, I was just calling her and telling her, we, huku niambi ipati liku hivi? Oh my God, what do you think? And discussing this book would be so much fun. Like if you have a group of friends and you guys this, read this book and now you sit down to discuss it, oh, Izo story is tashika because easy story. E chai ini chai. E kitabu ni chai moto. Chai imeweza. Anyway, let me go. I have just changed into my loungewear. I want to chill with my family. We ate like you so so I'm not even sure I'll have dinner and I've already seen my nanny cooking. So I don't even know how that is about to go. But anyway. Wishing you guys a lovely Easter. I think I'll keep posting you. This will be like my Easter weekend vlog. Uh, I don't even know what we're doing tomorrow, but to Kiamka, we'll know. I'm thinking of looking for plants. I need trees in my compound and like, yeah, flowers or something. So I hope tomorrow I might just go and buy some and get to plant them and yeah, just improve my compound. So yeah, that's it for today. Let me go chill, make a nice cocktail because I deserve it and just call it a night as I read my book. Yeah. And yeah, that is my rant for today. I'll see you tomorrow when I am in, I'm already in happy moods. Like yesterday I was feeling so bad, but today I'm like, ah, Nikofiti. And then guys, you guys on IG, you guys, 
see you've laughed at me and you guys are like atulijua au jende ile salon umezoea kwenda because ako kanyole akakai vizuri you guys are not even sparing me you are not even giving me time to even feel nice about myself mlikuwa tu mnaongeza tu chumvi kwa kidonda but you know what that is what makes us friends because we keep it real here we tell each other the truth hakuna kuchocha kakiwa kabaya mnaniambia aisha za hapo umetuangusha hako ni kabaya anyway it happened it happened and i learned my lesson and yeah we're here so let me go down chill with my peoples as i read my book okay see you guys later this was on friday afternoon we stepped out took ace to play because we also wanted to do shopping and we took him to our favorite place of late that is broadway mall i think this is bouncing play i have plugged this guy so many times and this is because they're so keen with your child like there's a baby who was trying to bully ace and they spotted it immediately stopped him and told him we don't tolerate that here so at least you know even when you leave your kid he's in safe hands he won't be bullied like they really take good care of your babies so yeah this i will always love to come back hi guys i am reporting live from the supermarket let me tell you what prompted us to come for this supermarket run today i wanted to make mandazis in the morning we didn't have blue band we didn't have eggs like so many things are done in the house so we're like eh. lazima leo to figure ah babe i bought that one okay so to kasema lazima to figure kwa supermarket leo so i'm not sure i'll be doing a haul let me see let me see how i feel after this supermarket run because already the prices are quite discouraging yeah but it's in life senior adulting and it's the easter weekend so i have a shopping list from my nanny i'm really trying to stick to the list there are small small temptations because it's not a treaty life you guys know how we do it so yeah we're at kafo kama kawaida no coffee is not here i think iko iko yeah so let's do this So we had to split Kiasi, he started crying so the dad had to go for him um, at the glassware section and let me tell you, temptation like this, like this, I am contemplating on getting a jug, if I get it I'll tell you, it's only 600 bob, 600 bob, it's giving me, also while we're at it, how do you guys go about telling those promotion people no? how do you go about it for me what works for me is the fact that i have always gone for cheap things like now when the happy people call me and tell me madam to a promotion i tell them and they never compete with those prices because they give you all the best plugs and the affordable plugs that is how confident i am in the things i take yeah What have you come to 
take here? What did you come to get? I have come to get chocolate or chocolate cake? We've come to Java before we head home to get some chocolate cake for my baby. Yeah, and let me tell you, yo, Nime beats. Monthly shopping is always like a sport or going to the gym. It's a lot of work. A lot of considering we are not used to coming to Sari Center, so we don't know the supermarket so well compared to Mega or the Hub. But we finished. Mama, the yeah. The fudge. Yeah. Or oh, the fun, yeah. Hi, good people. Happy Easter. Today is Sunday. Uh, we're not going to physical church today because the man is not feeling so well. So we'll be attending online church. But I believe the Holy Spirit will still come down through that tv yeah and the beauty of churches these days like at sadaka you know when uh i was younger before mpesa was like the thing the thing my pay bill ni, 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 ni. i remember there's a time i told my mom eh ni me watch church kwa tv you remember the 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 services that used to be streamed on GKTN or Citizen. So I told her, she asked me, she called me and she was like, Umenda church. I was like, no, Leo ni me watch kwa TV. She's like, Alafu Sadaka ukekelea kwa TV ama. <laughs> so now, if she asks me that question, I will tell her, Kura pebil, kura teal, nilitoa Sadaka, na bado nilichukua wadi ya Leo na nikaiweka kwa roho. So, yeah, we want to do that. Ace has taken a bath. We have dressed him. Like, it's just an easy morning. I've probably done most of the things I was supposed to do in terms of preparing him. So, that's a win. That's a win. I want to go make breakfast. I think we'll just do simple tea, eggs, and bread. Ace wants tea and cake. Guys, my baby is obsessed with cake. Kwanza, akiketi tu hivi, akumbuke kuna chocolate cake. I think he thinks... Chocolate cake is something you can just go to the shop and pick. I don't know. I don't know. So we always try to have a kind of cake, whether it's chocolate or whatever. Just tell him this is chocolate cake for today and he will win. And we said, moms who follow me, if your baby wants to make your life easy by taking whatever thing their head tells them to take and it's an easy make imagine do yourself a favor and give them that thing if they want to eat noodles give them those noodles they will get to an age where they like us and we are struggling to kill these stomachs you know you they will be eating healthy because they have seen what they have done to their bodies and yeah, but in here, as long as you put like a fruit in there, like now he's already had a banana, so see, that's a fruit. Now I conquer him that tea and cake and me, it's a day I have survived without a nanny. So yeah, my feet of the day is pretty much very simple. Uh, some home to five four pants. These two tops, I have really been liking them from Mr. Price. They are so comfortable. And I got this one's Kwanza for a sale. I think I bought one at either 150 or 200 pop. So I really like Kwanza how the blue is looking. So yeah, let's go make breakfast. And after breakfast, I don't think there's so much we'll do. Probably in the afternoon, we might go visit our mom in law. We might. So if we go, I'm not sure I'll even shoot that. Anyway, let's make breakfast and probably almost end the video there because we already have good minutes in this video so let's do this guys there's one thing i hate kukosha majani kwa sufuria so i know i drop tea bags yes call me lazy so fine those should do So I've told you guys before, we normally make two kinds of tea in this house. This is the normal Mount Kenya milk now. I make for the lactose intolerant peoples. So 
So for our lactose intolerant people, this is the milk we use. And it's only one person, so I normally just measure like three quarter of a cup for milk. And always add kidogo for evaporation. I will also put this and the cooker to boil. After for him, I will do two tea bags because Mimi na. Majani chai kwa sufuria ai hii ni bom So to get some tea masala We normally like adding tea masala to our tea I didn't show my nanny the stickers I don't really put so what she did she made her own sticker aka gonga hapo na silo tape Hina pima for macho. In both our tea, na ya, na ya mse. And we wait for the tea to boil. In the meantime, I want to gonga. I don't normally gonga my eggs. So, I'll just cook them in the pan direct i'll show you guys and yeah it's a very simple breakfast and i want to garnish or rather make it more nice using some tomatoes and as you cut it around yeah you present your chakula what i don't want to share your breakfast is love and because it's easter i have said this i haven't eaten bread the whole of this year imagine clap for me but the lord has risen we deserve bread I'm about to take three slices, then after that I go on a break again. Yeah. Yeah, my tea. You can see my tea is cooking. My tea is boiling. So our tea is ready. I'll start with this one. The lactose free because I can use this kichungi, the seeds in our tea. Because for us, we just could not be affected. You see, I made an exact cup, guys. When I tell you kupima na macho is a skill, it truly is a skill. Just look at, I'll show you. Ime to share. Exact. So that's the I normally like using two vichungis because I find when you use tea masala, they usually sleep. So if you sleep with the first one, the second one will catch you. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I've put you on this before. This is the best decanter I have because it just gives you the right amount of oil you need. And I got it from your shop by now, you guys know. I have already broken an egg. So I'll start with that one. I've been taking so many cold things. I feel like my chest is so tight. Hopefully this tea cures that because for my eggs these days I go with salt and this lemon chili just gives the right amount of chili. So
So this is how our egg is looking. I'm waiting for it to cook. Of course, I turn it. I will be doing it well done. This yolk will not be dancing in this egg. And I've used a lot of chili because the owner of this egg loves chili. So I'm sure this one will be slapping hard for him. Breakfast is ready. Yeah, Baba. Yeah, I'm Toto. Yeah, I'm Toto. Yeah, Baba. No, no, can you tell you who are exact? No, I'm getting a lot of macho. Just look at that. Let my people enjoy. As I was having my tea, I poured some on this white cushion cover. And this was the perfect time to show you guys why I love the carpet cleaner from Astonish. So normally you just spray on the stain and you can see this is white and the tea was really dark. And let me just tell you, this thing works like magic. I use it on my bright surfaces and also my carpet. Like, you know, with a toddler, they tend to really just do a mess every time on the carpet drew on the couch but this normally takes the stress away because after like a minute or two ah you're back to factory settings so yeah i wanted to show you this thing actually really really works like the stain was out in less than a minute yeah so if you doubted the carpet cleaner this one i insist go and get it it's the real thing it's the real deal good job astoni hi guys so my people had breakfast from a jibamba i am now making lunch for us i want to do noodles indomie <laughs> guys anything to survive anyway i have come here to end this video thank you for catching up with me i hope you enjoyed the video i also did i am wishing you guys a happy happy easter may you next week be amazing May it be better than my edges. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really had fun shooting this vlog. I hope you also enjoyed watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, until next time. Bye, guys. Have a lovely Sunday. Now I love. Mwah.